The Detroit Lions preseason begins Friday. We have a game against the New York Giants, and we have joint practices coming up this week beginning on Tuesday. It is open to the general public on Wednesday. I will be in attendance for both practices. Practice begins at 1030. So if you worried about the 830 start time, it is now going to be 1030. But that means the sun is going to be a wee bit hotter. But I saw something from Pride to Detroit. I saw this last week when after week one of training camp. And now we're going to do the week two stock up, stock down. And this is coming again from Pride to Detroit. So let's take a look at their criteria. It says an up designation indicates the player is either performing above expectations or that their role is changing in a positive way. Most players will fall into the no change category, which simply means they are doing what we anticipated. If a player lands in the down category, they are either underperforming or have seen their role limited more than previously projected. So again, these are the guys from Pride to Detroit. It, it would be awesome if if we had we were able to have media credentials and, and be there every day as well and not just limited to the uh, the time that the fans can can come. So let's take a look and what we're going to do. We're going to go through every position here. I'm not going to read in depth what they say. You guys can read that on your own. The link will be in the description to this article. But I'm going to give you my thoughts and try to keep this video under 10 minutes on what I feel here as to each position. All right. So the quarterback stock up none. No change. Jared Goff, Nate Sutfeld, Hendon Hooker. He is on the NFI list and Adrian Martinez. I'm not sure what the asterisk means, but no change to Nate Sutfeld, which means that they projected that he was going to have a miserable time in camp. I mean, to me, Nate Nate Sutfeld is is trash. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can if I can cue this up. I know some of you guys are going to be offended, but let me see. Nate Sudfield is trash. I just don't like him as a quarterback. I would much rather have Carson Wentz or Teddy Bridgewater see what we could do to get him in the building. Now let's go to running back. Justin Jackson, the newly acquired running back that was with our team last year. His stock is up. No change. David Montgomery, Jameer Gibbs, Jason Cabinda, Craig Reynolds, Jamar Jefferson. Stock down. Mohamed Ibrahim. That's kind of bad for everybody that's kind of rooting for this undrafted free agent to make the team. We are going to carry four running backs on the active roster, and we have Justin Jackson, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven running backs on the roster. If you include the fullback, Jason Cabinda, we'll carry four. We'll probably send two to, to the practice squad. I think last year it was Justin Jackson, DeAndre Swift, Craig Reynolds, and Jamal Williams. I think this year it's going to be Montgomery, Jameer Gibbs, Reynolds, and number four will probably be Justin Jackson. But I could see the last the, the last two spots coming between Craig, J Jamar, and Mohammed the last, for the last spot. I think Justin, as a matter of fact, Justin is number three. Dan Campbell pretty much already said it. So that means number four is going to be fighting between Craig, Jamar, and Mohammed. And if this is like an order, if this is done in order, then that means right now Craig would be the number four running back. Now let's take a look at the wide receiver. Stock up, Amara St. Brown, Dylan Drummond, or should I say Dylan? Dylan Drummond. No change, Josh Reynolds, Jamison Williams, Khalif Raymond, Marvin Jones, Denzel Mims, Maurice Alexander, Chase Cota, who we haven't even heard of, of, of anything coming out of camp, and Avery Davis. That must be the guy we, we signed yesterday. Stock down, Trinity Benson, who's on injured reserve. Uh, I'm sorry, Tom Kennedy, who's on injured reserve. Trinity Benson and Antoine Green. Man, that wide receiver room is stacked. We don't have a lot of superstars, but it is stacked, man. That's got to be, what, 10, 11 people. We know about Amonra. He's going to make the team. No change, Josh Reynolds, Jamison Williams. It's really going to come down to that six wide receiver spot once Jamison Williams comes back. But in the meantime, I think it goes to Denzel Mims and maybe Antoine Green. That's probably what I see. Antoine Green, Denzel Mims. And then when Jamison Williams comes back, unless Green sets him, himself apart from Mims, then he goes on the practice squad. Tight end, stock up, Sam Laporta, James Mitchell, our second-year player, right? 
No change. Brock Wright. Darrell Daniels. Daniel Helm. Stock down Shane Zilstra. And that's because of the injury he's going to be done for the season, looks like. Stock up. We're, we're probably going to keep three on the roster and maybe put one on the, on the practice squad. So I'm thinking that's easy. Sam Laporta, James Mitchell, and Brock Wright. You can kind of get an idea of what our 53-man roster is going to look like um, after this is said and done. Now, the offensive line, it's it's quite a bit, quite a bit. So we'll just look at the the stock up and the stock down. I think it's 17. It's, it's a, We have a, a ton of offensive linemen. Graham Glasgow, Cody Sawsdall, uh, Coyote Awusaka, Obina Izzy, stock up, stock down, Halapalu Tivati Vitae, Matt Nelson, and Jermaine Ifedi. Easy, is what we like to call him. His stock being up is kind of a big deal because last year we could see the struggles he was having when, we, when they documented during Hard Knocks. We could see this guy was struggling, but he wind up making the practice squad because they saw what kind of potential he could have. Big V being stocked down, that's, that's a sign, man. This dude might not even be able to play and make the team. Um, I don't know. We, we'll see from Big V. All right, interior defensive line. Stock up, Broderick Martin, Benito Jones, no change, Aline McNeil, Isaiah Bugs, Levi Anwuzarike, Chris Smith, Corey Durden, and stock down Christian Covington. Man, I'm telling you, when you look at our interior offensive line, I'm sorry, defensive line, we got some work to do. We really do, but we'll see how that turns out. When it comes to edge, because Josh Pasco is a DT, but they got him as an, as an edge here. He's got his stock is up. No change. Hutchinson, Charles Harris, John Kaminsky, who's also a DT. He plays edge sometimes as well. James Houston, Romeo Okwara, stock down Julian Okwara. I don't think anybody in who watches this channel think Julian is going to make this team. Julian has had Dan Campbell said when he's on, he's on. And he's got potential. He's got too much talent to basically not be out there. But I don't think Julian makes the team. Let's go to linebacker. Stock up, Jack Campbell, Derek Barnes. That's a good news because Jer Derek Barnes was scared. Looks like he was scared last week. No change, Alex Anzalone, Malcolm Rodriguez, Jalen Reeves-Maven, Anthony Pittman, Trevor Nowosaki. And there's no linebackers in the down stock. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Man, Anthony Pittman, Trevor. I don't think Trevor makes the team. I really don't. Outside cornerback. This is going to be pretty good right here stock up Stephen Gilmore which I believe is the younger brother of Stefan Gilmore which is weird because you got Stephen and Stefan uh no change Cameron Sutton Jerry Jacobs Starling Thomas and what is that Tay Hayes who we just signed not too long ago stock down basically a bunch of hurt people and Khalil Dorsey from hitting my guess is hitting uh Shane Lowe that caused him to be stocked down let's go to the Hybrid defensive back is what they call it. Stock up, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Brian Branch, Chase Lucas. That's good because we haven't heard much coming out of camp about him. No change, Will Harris, and stock down, none. It's kind of a big deal because now if we look at the stock down for the, wow, for the secondary, so far it's just people that's hurt. It's kind of a big deal. That says a lot about our secondary as well. Safety. Uh, stock up, Savion Smith, which is good. No change, Tracy Walker, Kirby Joseph, Brady Breeze, Brandon Joseph, who is the uh, undrafted free agent that we signed after the draft. Stock down, Ifitu Melifanwu, and he's going to have a tough time making the team. He kind of reminds me of a little bit of Miles Killebrew from the Matt Patricia time when we drafted. I think he was, he was actually from before, from the Jim Caldwell time, how he found a way to make this team moving positions and remember we drafted Iffy as a cornerback who then turned to a safety and that has allowed him to be on this team so far but I don't know if he makes it this year with the competition that we have uh in the secondary and now finally stock up special teams Riley Patterson Scott Daly no change Jack Fox Parker Romo and Jake McQuaid so if Riley Patterson stock is up then he looks like he is the one that is going to take that kicking position. But that's going to come down to the wire, probably who misses the most in the preseason. That's probably what's going to – if you remember David Blau, when he fumbled, 
in the first game. That pretty much sealed his fate as far as the Detroit Lions were concerned. And I think it's going to be the same way with the special teams as well. Whoever makes misses the most kicks, they're going to get put on a practice squad if if they don't get cut entirely. And then the winner of that will then take the kick, kicking position. I myself think it's going to be Riley Patterson, but that's just me because they traded for this guy. It would be a nice story for Parker Romo to make it, though. But anyway, that we, we I try to keep it under 10 minutes. Not quite there, but that's okay. There's a lot of stuff to cover. Make sure you guys check the source material in the description. Friday Detroit and the excellent work they do. Don't forget about the live stream watch party that I will probably mention once every other day. That's what this QR code is for. Tickets are selling and we only have a limited amount of space. So if you can come and you're local, then come join us and have a good time. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.